know, the, the thing about this organization is Great Lakes represents 120 mayors from around the Great Lakes. And our focus is really what it was designed to be when Mayor Rich Daly uh, had started this whole thing with the mayor of uh, Toronto, which is to focus on protecting the Great Lakes. And when I was a kid growing up, it was always about the pollution that was being dumped into the Great Lakes. Now it's really about invasive species, it's about nutrients, it's about withdrawals. So while the issues have changed, they're still incredibly significant. You know, we, when I was growing up, had never heard of a zebra or a quagra mussel. Uh, and now they cover the floor of Lake Michigan and are literally uh, eating the lake dry. So in the sense that they're eating all the nutrients out of it, it's going to end up killing all the fish. So these issues are really quite uh, large, but you don't see them because they're underwater. I grew up about a block, a city block from the Great Lakes on Lake Michigan uh, in Racine. And we grew up with water, swimming in it, sailing on it, canoeing in it, whatever the case was, we grew up with water. And, and no matter where I go, I always want to get back home because not only do I love the green of my state, but I love the fact that I'm near water and I know that I can always take a walk down by the beach. So I think the bond that you see here that's an automatic bond is with all of these mayors who grew up or now live on or near a, a great body of water. For us, the, the Waukesha water diversion is obviously a big piece of that because we're kind of the, the dumping ground for the sewer water and that'll be incredibly detrimental. But the bigger issue beyond us is the 120 some straws that want to get in if Waukesha gets a straw in, in the Great Lakes. That to us is catastrophic. Um, outside of that, as a city, we are watching the invasive species issues um, because the, the uh, you know, we look, we're very close to the Chicago River, so we're actually watching very closely what happens with the Asian carp. The, uh, uh, the uh, zebra and quagga mussels are huge for us because they're sucking all the nutrients out of the Great Lakes and fishing and commercial fishing used to be a really huge industry in the Wisconsin area, about a $4 billion industry that's been cut now already to about $800 million. So that's a loss of $3 billion a year for our state. Um, and then all the nutrient issues, you know, because once you have nutrients and overflows, they have a direct impact. Um, our city, we're very, very, very big into water. We're ninth uh, year in a row Blue Way certified. So our beach is considered one of the best beaches in the world and we've been ranked as the number one uh, drinking water in the country. So for us, this is a daily thing, and we put a lot of effort, a lot of time, and a lot of money into making sure that we keep it that way. Mm -hmm.